We have a battle ongoing. We have some reinforcements coming in. Uh, you're locked in, so we will march to fight you. They have quite a lot more mor morale than we do. But we have quite a lot more troops and firepower than they do. Yeah, job's done. Still waiting for that siege. We've done that one. Right, I'm still killing rebels. Yeah, that's a thing. Eh, it's fine. Need you to finish. Come on, hurry up. Buildings are the other thing to spend money on. Yeah, I know. Sickness of the Emperor! Algirdas the second has fallen ill and cannot handle all aspects of ruling the Commonwealth for the time being. How should we handle this? Delegate more to the provinces, which is autonomy or national tax. Burkhas gain loyalty. You know what? I'm going to give the Burkhas loyalty. I'll take the autonomy. I'm also going to make them pay me for the privilege. Which means I'm not taking a loan now. Still didn't take that city. Come on, people. It's time to move on to Chagatai. Victory over there. Good. Just leave the coastal province of forts on. Just in case they try and do something sneaky sneaky. Leave those. Turn these off. Leave that one on. Turn that one off. These can go off. That'll do. And I really wanted to build one in Kosovo. So we are going to build a fort, go for a level 4, for now, in Kosovo. Ah, yes, I have a lot of admin power. Okay, so all of their forts have fallen now. So at this point I just need to spread out and just start taking stuff. Or I could just take stuff. No. We turn cores. Ah, uh, that's all to Kazan. I want you to give the land to Muscovy. Unfortunately, I can't do that until I've actually taken the territories and I'm having to fight rebels and stuff now. Fantastic. Alright, let's bring the armies back up here and then we're just going to spread out and start just stealing stuff. Utrecht joined the Republic. Netherlands is expanding. What they really need is Holland and Brabant to join it. Liège if they can. That would make a really strong Netherlands. Like, impressively strong. Another general just died. Thankfully he's in friendly territory. So we'll just go ahead and hire a new one. He is rubbish. Wow. Also rubbish. Better. What the hell? How was I recruiting such terrible, terrible generals? With 85 tradition. Seems a little bit bizarre. Stab drop on the ruler. Is he any good? No. No, she's not. 
112 Regency until my 622 comes of age. Oh well, so be it. Watch the Coalition, it's not really worth watching. The West doesn't really care about us anymore, even Austria's gone down to just a minus 20. And they really won't care about me taking territory over here, it's too far away. I do need to go and fight that to make sure they don't take the city back. Fort back. This is why I'd really like to piece Chagatai out. Just so I can get them dealt with. And that's why it's a bit of a pain that I can't see any of this stuff yet. Triangle trade. Price of slaves has gone up. Britain gains a bunch of money and some prestige. Lucky them. Need to make sure we relieve that siege before they take any more. Keep going. In fact, I'm going to split you in half. Will those guys arrive? So we'll be moving around in stacks of 12,000. <laughs> the price of tobacco has gone up. Wow, Britain's getting everything. Are Britain the only one with uh, colonies or something? Tapua has apparently taken the entire coast of Brazil. <laughs> so is Carib. There's English Colombia. There's Portuguese Brazil. A tiny bit of Tupi. Caribbean is completely pretty much uncolonized. So, because they're such a terrible Castile, terrible Port in fact Portugal's gone, and terrible France, yeah, there's no colonization going on. Interesting. Ah, there's another army. Chagatai! They're still on 64. Oof. Oh, oh, I see somebody over there. Needs to be dealt with. Okay, so we saved the siege. Let's go and crush these guys. Then I think we basically just need to take over the areas around Muscovy because that's the territory I actually want from this. We didn't have military access through. Totally forgot to cancel that. Been paying that for a while. The others I do want. Possibly fine. AI is being annoyingly good at retaking territory. I guess that happens when the land is this big. Those are the Gazamooks armies, so those are the guys that I beat at the beginning of the war and have just managed to survive somehow. Oh, nuts! They took Shivan back. You go and take Shivan back again. Back, back. And they're about to take that. Come on. <sighs> Forget the rebels, go take that. Right, you are the guys who've failed to kill them. Mm, no, we have enough troops over there dealing with that. And they are now back on medium because they're taking forts back again. 
How irritating. They haven't taken their capital yet. I just took Kazan back again. Kazan's definitely one of the ones that I needed to take. Come here, you wretch. Although Kazan's not going to have an opportunity to get a very big garrison. Alright, I'm starting to siege down Chagatai. So if I can kick Chagatai out of this war, and I strongly suspect that I can, then that's going to make this a heck of a lot easier. And crikey, did I? Yes. Yes, I may well have done that. Whoops. Don't get stack wiped, that would be bad. Aha. Right, they're on medium. Well, at least we're getting a little bit of an opportunity to uh, look around, you know, discover some new places, find some new stuff. in fact two whole armies that lost here. So which one of you is better at sieging? Siege 4, Siege 2. So you go and siege that back down. You come down here and just start carpet sieging. As soon as Shirvan falls, which will be soon, we can go and crush them. They're down to an 8. Aha! Another fort. Shirvan has fallen. Go and kill them. with Holland has ended. As long as you guys keep on marching so I can keep on seeing more of this area, then that's the good bit. Alright, you've retaken that. Let's go and kill the rebels up here. And then I think we'll spread out and steal some more. No! That's really irritating, because those little pieces of armies are hard to replace. Oh dear, it's happening again. Suddenly Chagatai emerges from the mists. It's the problem with not being able to see where you're fighting. Uh, friendly fort, friendly fort, friendly fort, there. Kind of stack wipes. That's a full army gone. Oh no, those are Gazamook armies. That was a Chagatai army. Right, let's piece these guys out. Because I'm going to have to rebuild another army, which is super annoying. Those things aren't cheap. I'll take that, and I'm going to take war wraps. Right. Now we can concentrate on Gazamook. We can also, more importantly... Embrace. Including military if we need to. I think we'll hold off on that. Uh, we are well over our power limit, so we need to go and spend some admin. That'll do.
Okay, let's go and build a new template. Standard. Right there. But we can get rid of... Whoops. The cavalry units. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then when can I raise another Cossack host? Next year. Good. That's the really annoying thing, is having to replace those, like, unique units. You know what? Let's, let's go up here. Because I'm sure it's these units, or these areas that I whoops, need to take. I just need to keep an eye out for Gazamook units coming back again. Thankfully, I can see most of that area now. Gazamook is going to get torn apart by rebellions once this war is over. Their war exhaustion, 14. Mine, 0.1. <laughs> I love war exhaustion reduction. It is so helpful. Printing press gives benefits. Lovely. Right, extra merchant. Thank you. Yes, that's true. So, you are going to be in Krakow, I think. Yeah, because all the money is going south right now. So, we want to transfer trade power up into the Baltic. Oh, man. So many rebels. They're, like, fighting all of their rebels. It's very annoying. Oh, no, let's not do that, let's do this. Okay, Muscovy. I need to know where you have claims and stuff. to Samara. Okay, good. Friesland joins the Republic. So the Republic is definitely growing, although still a little bit wimpy. So because I feel like I need to get some Revengi, I need to go murder some people. So this war could very happily end, like, right now. Probably. Ready to serve, my lord. Fanro, thank you very much for the host. Welcome to Fanro's viewers. Nineteenth, you leave on the thirteenth. Let's go around here. Group that way. Yike. Damn it, how fast are you moving? 
Come back here. Oi. Really don't want to waste mil military points just chasing this army down because this war's over. I just want to make sure we kill it. There we go. You think your army's good? Well, face mine when it's actually at full strength. Yeah, ah, ah. See that? That's called humiliation. Right, let's go and steal some stuff. Hang on. Yeah, Tambov and Akara. I'd rather do that, I think. Overextension, sorry, aggressive expansion with a lot of people, don't really care. They're gonna grow, that's fine. Give me money. That'll do. Yoink! And yes, I know, border gore. Oh no. It's fine, I'm, a, I'm currently in the process of annexing Muscovy. This is all gonna be mine. Okay, good. So you lot can stop running. You two can return to like there. You there. You there. You there. Oops. There. Okay. Jobs are good. Un. Let's start coring. And once those are cored, I can state and then the Cossacks will be even happier and bigger and more awesome. Dalmatia. Rebels. Unfortunately for you, my forts are still active and I have an army nearby. You chose poorly. Sirazan, we may as well start converting you because I don't think I can court you yet. What's his general? Uh, I can't see him anymore. Sorry. Saw that too late. So those guys are all kind of ticked off with me. Oh well. I can afford to not pay everyone nearly as much as I'm currently paying them. In fact, if we've beaten the rebel armies, then I can afford to not pay you at all. So there. Oh, the two stacks I lost were the two back-end stacks. They weren't actually the two commanded stacks, and so no wonder they got so spanked down. Just thinking of, like, I've got an extra general. How have I... what? Save all forts to still keep the perimeter. Um... Sable. <laughs> Fine. Still disabling. Still not paying my troops. Like, seriously, Ham uh, Brandenburg, if you can't beat an exiled Lubeck right now, then there is something very wrong with you. So that's given me the extra general, which is going to go here. That's you. Congratulations. Now, I need to see the estates, not you. Cossacks. Uh, Cossack host. Loyalty needs to be 50, influence needs to be 40. Okay. Why are they out the port? <sighs> they were ancient. Never mind. Saves me some money. Right, let's start building some stuff. 
Workshops. Build, 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 build. Raise Cossacks now. No, I can't. Influence needs to be higher. Although I could expand the uh, Cossacks registry, I may as well do that. Now I can. Right, so I think four of you need to go over here. I'm still going to be short like a, another bunch. Marie-Louise Gonzaga. Before she married Windeslov the Fourth, Marie-Louise Gonzaga had a literary salon in Paris and spent many years in a convent. Before the wedding, she had to change her name to Ludwika Maria, as the name Maria is reserved for Mary, Mother of Jesus, here in the Commonwealth. Not two years later, Windeslov the Fourth died and she married John Casimir. The Commonwealth nobility finds her a peculiar and scandalous woman and she has very ambitious economic and political plans and keeps on meddling with Commonwealth politics. Active and energetic, she despises boredom and has many different hobbies to entertain herself. For example, she founded the newspaper, the Commonwealth Mercury, the Convent of the Order of the Visitation of the Holy Mary, and opened the first literary salon in the Commonwealth. Titan Livano Baratini thrives under her patronage and is currently building a model aircraft. Perhaps this Italian polymath will be the first inventor to fly. When the Swedes attacked, she led the Commonwealth troops in repulsing the enemy. She is a formidable woman with a great deal of influence and political power. So I get a new ruler who's a 432. Or her advice will be of great importance. We get a diplomatic reputation person and also 100 of every political power. Wow, she's quite good. Also, my current ruler is terrible. Question is, what happens to the heir? Because this is a consort. I'm going to do it because it's cool. She's just the Empress, and that guy is still the heir. Okay, and she's only 18. Hell yeah. Good choice, Mordred. Good choice. I was like, where did these fourth come from? Oh, yeah, they were the uh, cavalry. They were the cavalry dudes. Dude. Uh, more workshops. Sophia. Generally, I go to anything which is above 0.1. So those are too low. Moscow, Lovren, Smolensk. Yeah, not really worth it. So, yeah, I think I'm going to start building cathedrals because there's quite a few which are higher than 0.1. Next. Baito. Marvellous. You are trespassing. Let's turn on some forts so we can't just nick them. Didn't get the garrison, did it day too late. No, I didn't. And we can tech up. We can now get swivel cannon, Republican dictatorships. So leather cannon, so we're gaining plus one fire, so we're doing more damage and also more morale damage. Yeah, so this level of troops, we're going to be doing an awful lot of morale damage. And I see you up there, you may not think that I do, but I do. Let's get cool. Let's bump up our morale to like there. So actually the nice thing about us doing more morale damage at this next tech level um, is that I can afford to keep my morale low because we're going to be doing more damage in comparison to the enemy. Marie-Louise and the Polish people. The ascension of Marie-Louise has been less well received by the Polish people. They consider her manners foreign and strange, blah blah blah. Because she is not reformed. She is reforming, but she is herself not reformed. I am very funny. 